Now let's look at the final tab in the Chart Tools feature of the ribbon, the Format tab. This tab allows you to apply format, shape styles, and word art styles to various elements of the chart, as well as you can arrange pictures, clip art, text boxes, and other graphic elements you might want to include in a chart. You can even resize your chart through precise measurements. Let's look first at the Current Selection group. This group is very similar to the Current Selection group that you have in your Layout tab of your Chart Tools feature of the ribbon. I'll go back to the Format tab and notice that, again, you can focus Excel's attention to any one of the elements that make up your chart. And then, by choosing the Format selection, you can open up a dialog box that allows you to format that element based on the categories listed over here on the left. And then, by selecting the options on the right, you can customize that element. You also have shape styles here, and based on what element is selected, and let's say I want to select my legend, I can go ahead and apply a preset outline to that element. If I click this More button right here, it will expand down into a menu that gives me a listing of all the various formats available for that element. Let's say that I wanted to apply this format to my legend. Notice that over here in the background, my legend will actually display whatever format I am selecting before I select it. Once I select it, it is applied to that element of your chart. You can change the fill by coming here to shape fill of the element. You can add a shape outline as well as you can add some shape effects. Under word art styles you can actually convert existing text into a word art style. Let's say I wanted to change my title text into a word art style. So I'll select that element, come up here to Quick Styles, select that, and I'll go ahead and choose this Gradient Fill Accent 4 with a reflection as my style. When I select that, notice that my title now has a slight shadow and now is filled with the fill color of my selection. I can also come in and alter my text here with the text fill or apply a text outline to that text or a text effect. Now the Arrange group allows you to bring forward or send to the back or even access a selection pane for all the elements that are on your worksheet. Not just your chart, but your worksheet. And if I choose Selection Pane, notice that now I have a pane visible to me and it's showing me that embedded on this worksheet I have my sales chart. I can select the name and rename it here. And if I had more objects embedded on this worksheet, you would see them all listed here. You can reorganize their order so that they display layered in a different order on the worksheet or you could actually come up here and select the object and choose to bring it forward or backwards or you can also align it as well as group any of the various elements. We will use this grouping more when we move on to graphics later in this chapter. And then finally we have the size command. And when you select the size command you can precisely set the height and width for your chart. Nice feature there. Now what I'd like you to do is to apply these features that you see here on the Format tab to your chart that's in your Sales Monthly Workbook. So please open or access your Sales Monthly Workbook, or if you'd like to start with a file that reflects the development of the course up to this point, please open up 1010 Start File, which you will find in your Excel 2007 course directory in the Chapter 10 folder. And again, here is our chart that we've been working on throughout this chapter. And what I'd like you to do is to experiment and apply some of these features that you see here in your Format tab. When you have your chart designed the way you would like it, save your workbook and then move on to the next movie.